Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I am actually beachside with Ferris Wheel Press Sugar Beach Ink Collection. This collection has three inks. We have the Pink Sugar Beach, Midway the Magnificent, and Down the Don Valley. I have some swatches I've been letting dry for a few days so you can really see how they shimmer and I will also be swabbing in this video so you can see how it looks before it is dried. So I'm going to get started. I will be starting with the pink sugar beach color. This was the one that drew me to trying the collection initially and you can actually see I've got it all over my fingers. Um, it just reminded me of the 90s summers that I had back in the 1990s, early 1990s, when everything was this crazy hot pink. So I'm looking forward to trying this. I actually think it's in the description on the website, something about those early 90s beach days, but that's what make, that's what I thought of when I saw the color. So see how it actually looks. It's a little paler than I thought, but still pretty. I've actually used this already in one of my sailor pens. I haven't tried it, but I filled it. So that's why that one's on the empty side. So I'm covered in the pink sugar beach ink, but uh, moving on to the Midway the Magnificent. This is a purple shimmer ink. And that is really saturated. And last but not least, down the Don Valley. This is a green. And if you hear airplanes in the background, that is just the norm for this area. Aircraft passing constantly. This reminds me of the Wicked Witch. Uh, it could be argued as Wicked Witch green, but that on paper looks a little bit more like slime to me. Pretty slime. Ooh, maybe like one of those lime ices. These are still on the wet side, so probably not going to see any shimmer yet. Sometimes the Ferris Wheel Press Shimmer inks, the shimmer shows up right away. Sometimes it shows up when it's dried. I'm going to let this dry, but believe it or not, our surfer dudes are actually here to go surfing with, so I am going to have to break this video and come back. So here are the inks when they've spattered and dried for a few days. You get a lot of intensity from the shimmer, a lot of saturation. You really get that hot pink look that I was wanting. But it takes a lot of the ink to get that effect. You get that really neat purple shimmer against that hot pink ink. So really very cool. But I don't see where it is achieved in the swatches or in the writing of this ink. Now I will say once this ink has dried I think it shows up very well. I think the sheening, well the shimmer sorry, shows up very well. These were previous samples I did from a few days ago. This has been layered a couple of times. But yeah the colors overall just a little paler than I would like. But very pretty, very pretty colors. I think this comes off as more of a neon pink as opposed to a hot pink when writing with it. It does shimmer well, but the shimmer really only shows up in that direct sunlight. I mean, that's when it really hits it and just looks absolutely fantastic.